Shoot that ion. <laughs> so yes. today we have with us uh, Prashan Trivedi, uh, guru for now, an expert in uh, Vedic astrology and author a few books on that topic. And so we would like to discuss the topic of time. So as Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita in 1132, time I am. So I would like to discuss with you, Prash, today uh, the topic of Kali Yuga, uh, so the age of decline of quarrel and hypocrisy, uh, inspiration and uh, beginning. So yes. maybe we can start from the question on the beginning of Kali Yuga. So because it's regularly assumed that the Kali Yuga started uh, 35 years uh, after Kurukshetra battle, which is discussed in Mahabharat, which will give us uh, 3,102 uh, year, a year before the Christ. So could you please comment on that? Is this timing of beginning correct? Right. Okay. Let's um, go not like that. Like let's understand the cycles of time in the first okay, place. Yeah. Because, okay. because that's the best way rather than giving one that thing. You know, the best un to understand what cycles are. Yeah. You know, in if you look at any Vedic text, okay, the number you're going to find mostly is 12. Yeah. Okay. 12 is like 12 signs. You know, the 12 signs of the zodiac, okay. You know, which we everybody knows. Then these 12 signs have 2000 year cycle. Mm -hmm. Each each sign stays for 2000 years, uh, which modern, like as astronomy also confirms, you know, yeah. there's 24,000 year cycle. So 2000 years for 12 signs, mm -hmm. 24,000 year cycle, okay, which is yeah. called the precession of the equinoxes, okay, like the, yeah. the cycle, which is 24,000 year cycle, which is again multiple of 12. So half of that cycle is 12,000 years again. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. So if actually look at Vedic texts, you will find the number 12,000 in the shlokas. Mm -hmm. okay. But like in last, I don't know, 100, 200 years, you know, whatever, people have gotten this big, very big numbers. Yeah. Okay, like 432,000 years. Yes. <laughs> millions years, millions yeah. of years. We have gotten very huge numbers. Yeah. Okay. But in no Vedic text, you can actually find these numbers. Okay. Okay, you will not show me a Sanskrit shlok where these numbers are there. So where okay. do they take this from then? Okay, then, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, this is a big, great big misconception all around. So yeah. the whole plane right now that uh, Kalyug, uh, 5,000 years have gone, like you said, as per yeah. them. Yeah. And uh, 427,000, which is 427,000 years are remaining. Mm -hmm. Okay, which is funny in the first place because I don't think like any commonsensical human or anybody can think that this can go on for another 400,000 years. Yeah. The current situation, <laughs> you know, <laughs> can actually go on for yeah. that long. Yeah. Like, you even within 100 years, people are thinking like this can't last another 50 years even, you know. So, <laughs> um, it's not, uh, it's a very strange thing that people have been given that notion. Yeah. Okay, and uh, which has created a lot of craziness and then people have no urgency. They think uh, Kali Yuga will last another four, four. So what's the hurry? Yeah. Like, <laughs> let's, let's slowly do things. No, there's no rush for anything, you know. Uh, but that number, like I said, was never there anyway. Because yeah. what the slope was 12,000 years, they used the word Divya years. So which they considered them Divya years mean divine years. Okay, which they thought like meant were like year of the gods. Now, year of the gods, which is the year of heaven, yeah. is one year is equal to 360 human years. So you multiply everything by, they multiply everything by 360. Yeah. If you multiply 12,000 by 360, you, you are going to get these kind of numbers. 24,000 multiplied by 360, you're going yeah. to get these mm -hmm. numbers. Now, the thing is, where do you actually run by? some other planes time scale on your plane why would you do that yeah so we should not consider a year a year on earth we should consider 360 years one year mm -hmm. what they're saying you should consider 360 years one year on earth that means sun should do this cycle which it does in a year a year is like a sun cycle right mm -hmm. sun goes to the maximum then to the minimum and then maximum and yeah. that that's that's what sun does in a year. Okay, that's the our year is defined by the solar year, the soul, the sun's move movement. Mm -hmm. You know, now they are saying three sixty of those movement should constitute one year. No, but it won't be on Earth plane. This plane, sun's movement as it is, will be one year of here. Yeah. 
you can't use the years of gods as any marker for time going on here how that's yeah. makes no sense whatsoever but this nonsense was done yeah actually they com they compute uh, the uh, year the uh, the length of the kalpas based on the day of brahma so it's actually so that's probably the source of the misconception yeah. Yeah, but no, no. But the source of the conception of all this yoga cycle is the yeah. word is the figure twelve thousand. Yeah. But they have multiplied twelve thousand by three sixty. Mm -hmm. But that they have done themselves. It's not written in the slope to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I see. Now, anything which happens in nature, if you notice, okay, uh, nature doesn't function in the in that kind of way. Nature, everything is equal. Day is, is pretty much equal to night. Okay, half up mostly equal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So all the four seasons, if they happen, the, then they they are equal three months, three months, three months. Mm -hmm. Okay. So twenty four thousand years is the cycle. So if you come to the that thing, actually, then all the yugas will be equal to. Yeah. So it'll be around six. Mm -hmm. Each. Mm -hmm. Right. In that thing, and uh, the thing is that there are particular markers points. For these yugas, like for example, right now our pole star is Dhruv. Some other time, pole star was Vega. Mm -hmm. Another time, pole star was in Alpha Draconis. Yeah. And so, pole star keeps on moving. So, when our pole star is on Dhruv Tara, which is Dhruv Tara, which is then you are already on the cusp of the Golden Age. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the end of Kali. And the beginnings, which is very clear because we are very well aligned with the pole star right now. Yeah. Our alignment with the star is quite strong, which people can see in the night sky that all the stars are revolving around that pole star very clearly. Mm -hmm. So the all the time periods were defined by these major stars. So yeah. you'll have four major stars and four points and four yoga changes mm -hmm. based on that. Okay. So that is very clear. So right now we are at the cusp of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which makes sense as well, because anyone who has any sense can tell that this cannot go on for another four hundred thousand years. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. It, it's not uh, feasible, sustainable, or anything. Yeah, that's true. Like, yeah. I mean, uh, even the biggest fool can actually see that with a little bit of logic. These numbers were just meant to create illusions in the mind of people. Yeah. You know, there's nothing to worry. Mm -hmm. Just things to carry on, and we have another four hundred thousand years. Because not, nothing needs to be done. Mm -hmm. There can be no avatar, and there'll be nothing. You know, like all of that. You know, which is falsifying mm -hmm. Vedic knowledge. Okay, basically, and uh, this twenty-four thousand year cycle can be seen in everywhere. Like it's it's well known. Modern astronomy now also ag agrees with it. Everybody, nobody can refute this cycle. Mm -hmm. So it fits in well with the twelve signs, two thousand years each. Fits in well with the yoga cycle. Mm -hmm. Four into it fits everywhere. Yeah. Okay. If there is nowhere, it does not fit. And if we take everything as sort of equal, mm -hmm. that is the way nature works. Yeah. Okay. Our nature doesn't work in the ratio of four, three to one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like around us, even on Earth plane at least, mm -hmm. we can see every year everything is not four, three to one ratio. Okay. <laughs> so, so, so that's that's very clear then. You know, mm -hmm. the cycle is twenty four thousand years always. And we are at the cusp of the end yeah. of Kali, which is very clear, you know, because Kali means ignorance, right? Yeah. And ignorance is lifting. Yeah. People are coming to know the truth. So that's actually the end where anyways, you yeah. know, there is no doubt about anything. And this confusion, which was created in India, yeah. okay, by wrong understanding of the Vedic texts. Yeah. Okay. The Brahma's Kalpa and stuff, those are very huge numbers. Yeah. Those are huge numbers. Okay. For Brahma Loka, you can apply those numbers. Mm -hmm. For heaven, Swarg Loka, you can apply Swarg Loka numbers. But you can't apply those numbers on Earth for Earth cycles. Yeah. Because Earth, Earth plane numbers will be applied. Yeah. Because we have to go by our sun. Mm -hmm. What yeah. it does, what a year is on Earth is defined by our sun. They yeah. might have some other. Mm -hmm. Thing to define their year out there. Yes, that makes sense. <laughs> yes.
a minimum. Okay, so, and for us, we have to define by that. So we have to go by that, and that is the cycle, and that is the fact, and that's the truth. After that, some people came to know it's twenty four thousand years. Then also some complications arose because people don't know how to divide it or what star means what. Yeah. Which is the pole star right now? It's a very, it's the very important star. So like, and what was Dhruv about? Dhruv was about like aligning his will with the divine will, right? Yes. When we are aligned with that right now in that thing, so then that will lead to that only. Yes. Yeah, right. The whole Dhruv story is very clear in the Vedic. Yeah. Text. No other proof even actually needs to be there, yeah. except that we are aligned with the Dhruvda right now. So Dhruv energy. So what more do you need to know the, which age is going to happen and what transition is happening right now? And whatever organizations which are spreading this big numbers four thirty four lakh thirty two or four hundred thirty two thousand or millions of years sort of thing, uh, it is their responsibility to change these numbers now because it is ridiculous. Yeah. To keep on giving this false knowledge to people, yeah. without any Vedic textual proof or anything, yeah. but when the sun goes into the northern transit, which is called Uttarayan in Sanskrit, it's called the day of the gods. Yeah. In six months for us, day of the gods, and within six months it goes into the southern transit, then it's called the night, mm -hmm. night of the gods. Yeah. But these are cycles of here, six months, six months, right? Yeah. Okay. But we can't uh, multiply all of those by three hundred and sixty as well, just because the way word is used, <laughs> yes. or gods are mentioned, or <laughs> 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 you, 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 you know, like so. So it it, is, it was a joke, and it is a joke because the only person who will be feeling happy about this joke is Kali. The demon yeah. or whatever who was supposed to reel over yeah. you, you say like, oh, I have got another four hundred <laughs> twenty-seven thousand years to rule. Like five thousand years is not enough, you know. Yeah. But people obviously know that you can't go any more longer than this because people are the ones who are facing the problems. Yeah, so, I think I literally has switched the bottom. <laughs> so it's got you <laughs> so <laughs> it can go. <laughs> so uh, any such number change we would think would have to come from the team of Kali only, not from anyone else. Mm -hmm. So whosoever are spouting those numbers are, and are promoting these numbers are all around the earth, all around the plane. Uh, they are the ones we can see whose side they are on. Do you know, <laughs> yes. know maybe who has introduced this the literature? So who, who has first did the, who first did the, those calculate, wrong calculations? So where's the source? Uh, uh, the well, whosoever did, we, we don't know exactly who did it, but uh, now everybody like ISKCON is using it. Yes. A so, um, yeah. lot, lot of organizations are using it. A lot mm -hmm. of Hindu and Vedic organizations are using this number. Yeah. Okay. And it is a general prevalent theme all over India. Yeah. That people think that is the case. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, uh, some people came along with the 24,000 years. So when people came to know about the precision of the chronoxes and people came with that cycle, which was there, yeah. which was always there. You know, and I have always talked about that cycle from the very beginning. That, that there's okay. twenty thousand year cycle, and there's twelve signs, two thousand years each. Mm -hmm. Like which I said, the age of Aquarius is starting because of that. You know, mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, all of that, which is mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So, but within the yoga cycle also, we are on the cusp of ending of, and it is already happening. Yeah. You know, so for the, um, since like last. 50 years and when the communications and our last 20 years, especially when internet has come, yeah. you know, that darkness has been lifted for yeah. so many people all over the earth plane. So the changes are happening, you know, people right now, each year is tough for people, you yeah. know, like in this transition period and people are talking about 400,000 more of those <laughs> years <laughs> <laughs> when you know, each year is tough enough for people, you know, it's not um, logical or anything. I, I want all these organizations to take notice and change so, their, yeah. um, they, because uh, this misconception um, is only creating uh, more problems for people. Yeah. You know? For some people, it creates uh, like a sense of unease. If Kali is going to go for the long, what will happen? You know, like, and yeah. some people get disheartened. Some people get depressed. Yeah. Uh, some people get like, we have to do nothing. You know now, yeah. uh, and it makes you comatose. Not a negativity which 
comes from this calculation yeah. you know and uh, quicker it's removed the better and the more the information gets out out there this is a misinterpretation of vedic texts yeah. and nowhere can you show me this figure i can show you the 12000 i'll show you the exact shloka with the 12000 written okay, okay. but they they have to show me the shloka with 432000 how about surya siddhanta so could you maybe comment something on this because they also use this for calculations of beginning of kali yuga uh, the surya siddhanta text uh, i think that those things have been just added to surya siddhanta i don't think they were originally there like once they miscalculated this mm-hmm. thing and they used the same calculations in surya siddhanta afterwards like the same people who did that would do that you know mm-hmm. because they have both the texts and they and uh, surya siddhanta is actually calculation text Yeah. you know because all the calculations from surya siddhanta which were don't use this 360 like uh, eclipses yeah, yeah. or uh, like the motion of the grahas mm-hmm. you know and the degrees and everything through the signs all of those work but they none of the this 360 is never used for that yeah. as far as surya siddhanta is concerned for me like as long as the all the jyotish calculations which work for it astronomically it sound there that's fine yeah but none of that involves this 360 multiplication yeah <laughs> so, <Okay. laughs> yeah. so uh, that that math is okay for me and this math is not and i'm very clear about it so it can't be more clearer yeah. so i can show that 12000 shloka it's there it's very clear but you know that number mentioned and, but not for 32000 you know in okay. the vedic That's very good news. <laughs> yes. 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 So, so that's that. That's that. And I think these organizations hold the responsibility now for spreading misinformation, and they have to correct themselves, um, because otherwise the judgment will fall on them too for doing this. Yes. Yes. I got it. It's super nice. Thank you.